once again, Space Engineers. We're here today to uh, do a little testing of the event controller. It's going to be a quick one. I've had a request or I'm having some challenges uh, with a, a user who was having some challenges about um, seeing if that event controller was really working or not. So if I push the right button, we'll get, here we go. I want to get a ship out here and, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, um, well, if I can get it to turn around where it won't crash on the ground, we will. Okay, well, we'll just send it up into space a little bit. Or I'll go up in space with it. And we'll get, um, I can't seem to get it to turn around the right direction, so. We'll get up here. I got to get in it and flip it over, otherwise I crash. Oh, there we go. That's pretty close. Uh, pretty good ship. Sits nice. And... There we go. Okay, so we're going to try with an event controller and see uh, if we can detect if that's going to be full or not. So um, the ship right now obviously has, shouldn't have anything in it, but it's got some reactor stuff in it. Okay, so it was pasted in. So um, so we're going to put, first off, we're going to put an event controller. Just find a spot. I've got one, uh, got an event controller on there now. Yeah, there's the event controller. Okay, so we're going to just uh, find a spot and put that on here. I like seeing the the little buttons on it. They're kind of neat looking. Uh, I think I want to put it right there. Okay, so now we have an event controller. Probably should have colored it the same color. But this is just a test. And now we're also going to put a timer on here. So that's from number one because we've got to, once we have the event controller triggering, then it's going to need a timer block to turn on. Okay, and so now we're also going to need, I probably should have put that out here. In fact, I think I will. I think I'm going to go here and take that one out. And I'm going to put that, put another one over here because this is what I like to do is put that here. And I like to put a light on top of it so I can know that that timer has actually done something. So now I'm going to get in here and set up the event controller real quick. And that's in here. And it's going to go, it's called timer block 2. So what we're going to do, whoops, in the event controller, we're going to select the action of we're going to turn on that timer, and we're going to uh, do a trigger now. And can we just go directly to that light? Now that would be nice. Yeah. don't have to do a timer. I can just toggle the light. Um, toggle the block on for now. Let's just do that. And then let's just go turn the light off. Okay, so now we're looking for that to happen when we, whoops, we got to go back to the event controller. And our cargo field is greater than, mm, let's just say, well, we want to try to see if it's really full. And so we really want to go up to 90. You don't want to go to 100% because it, it just doesn't work that way. I mean, you don't always get 100% full. I like to go 90%. If it's 90%, it's probably going to be pretty full. So, um, and the one I want to look at is there's two of these large cargo containers. 
And so I'd like to make sure both of them are at 90% before I turn the light on. That's, that's my goal here. So I'm going to turn this one on. And then uh, we'll be able to see if that out, if the uh, cargo is, is full. Okay, so now we're going to come down here. I want to get to where I can still see that light. And I may want to move that light because I don't know if I can actually get to anything on this cargo container. There's a spot right there. Yeah, but can I see that and see that light? If I come up here, I can. Okay, great. Okay, so now I want to do a Control F10. No, I'm always doing the wrong one. Shift F10, that's the one. And let's just fill it with bulletproof glass. So we're going to put 999999 as many as they'll go. Spawn the object into the targeted container. And so now that should be full. And it is quite full. Now what I want to do, though, is uh, move those to this container. And, wow, you see the light kicked on. That's interesting. It must have happened just as I got it. As I was moving it over, both of them were, for an instant, they were full. So that's kind of irritating. But... Um, I'm going to turn that light off once more. And we're going to come back in here and we're going to put in this one. We're going to put 900. And it's not full. We don't expect it to be. It's about half full. And so let's go ahead and put some more in there. And Let's put uh, uh, 800. Now, that kicked the light. So that says, oh yeah, that's uh, that was enough to, to get it to 90% for both of them being 90%. So that works great. Um, it shows that, that the event controller worked and we could turn on a light directly to say that it was... Uh, done. Now you can make that a timer block. You can need multiple kinds of things being selected. Or you can just directly turn on the light and just say, you know, the, the thing is full. Or you could uh, trick, uh, trigger a uh, uh, programmable block to do a SAM run or a PAM run or whatever you need to do. Uh, I guess it would be SAM, which, you know, you'd send them back home. So uh, there you go. That that's the event controller and uh, using it to do the percentage of the containers full. That seems to work very well. See you next time on this channel and we uh, look forward to you subscribing and clicking that bell and you'll get more notifications about more new videos as they come out. Thanks for watching.